Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Journey to Become Wealthy. My name is Kelvin Reed, and today is Sunday. You all know what Sunday is, right? It's our wealthy word of the week, right? So last week, we had a pretty good wealthy word. It was prevail, right? Make sure you continue to push through these things, whether it's a bear market, a bull market. You're going to figure out a way to continue to push through, continue to prevail. This week, I was reading the book Atomic Habits, right? And I, I just found it online. It was a good book. And I, well, it was recommended as a good book. And I had a word, right? It was identity. In this book, they talk about identity. You know, create, who do you want to be? What is it that you want to do? You you can't out go out here trying to achieve things based on the outcome. You have to identify yourself with those things. So once you identify yourself with those things, that's what you become. And to go with that, I found a nice quote that I really, I thought it was nice, right? Perhaps it's impossible to wear an identity without becoming what you pretend to be. Orson Scott Card by Ender's Game. So let, listen to that, right? Listen to that. Perhaps it's impossible to wear an identity without becoming what you pretend to be. So, and that, again, that, that's something that sits well with me. Orson Scott Card. Because... We're on a journey to become wealthy, right? We're not out here saying, you know, pursuing an outcome. We're, we're creating life-changing habits. We're out here building wealth. And not just for us, it's for our families, for generations to come. And we're identifying ourselves with those who are wealthy, the millionaires, the rich, the business owners. Um, I'm a stock trader. I, you know, hey, that's what I identify as. I go to work. I'm a working man. My identity, I've created these habits that, eventually will get me to where I want to be, right? And that's at the end of my journey to become wealthy. But that's also why it's the journey, right? It's never ending. The road will continue going. As long as I continue to, that's who I am. Perhaps it's impossible to wear an identity without becoming what you pretend to be. And, and I love that, right? Because I, I, I have a thing where I used to tell people all the time, I am who I am and I am not, I will never be who I am not. That, that's identifying who I am, right? That, that's your identity. So that's our with, wealthy word for this week, identity. Figure out who you want to be. Figure out what it is that you want to be and live your life with that in mind. That's how you create wealthy habits. Identity. Choose to who you want to be. Not just based on those outcomes. Not just, you know, hey, you because what you want. You want a million dollars. You want a new car. No. I. Create wealth, good habits, wealthy habits, life-changing habits. Identify yourself with those habits and eventually you'll be successful. You'll achieve whatever it is that you were after and it'll just be a part of your life at that point. So that's our wealthy word for this week. I forgot to tell y'all, like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make videos. <laughs> All right. So next, what's going on this week in the market? This week, we have a lot going on, right? We know the Inflation Reduction Act bill was actually just passed, I believe, today. That's going to be major for the markets and just things to come. Also, we have CPI data coming this Wednesday, right, along with earnings. So CPI data, I'm going to start there, right, because this CPI data, we already know. Each time the CPI data has come in hot and heavy, the market has reacted one way or another. And at this point, we are hoping that last month's 9.1% was the peak Right, we've been seeing the stock market go green. We've been seeing things looking lovely. Everything's been fat, dumb, and happy, and we just and that's with the understanding that we're hoping 9.1 percent is the peak. We have expectations of 8.7 percent. Now, this is not good. That's not a good number. It's still higher than we've seen it in the past 40 years. However, the fact that it comes down shows us that hey, we hit the peak, and we're starting to turn around. The Fed can start going lighter on us instead of seeing 75 after 75 after 75 they can potentially come down to 50 basis points and then 25 basis points and we don't have to worry about the interest rates going up so high so that's what we look forward to on Wednesday this is going to be another extremely volatile weekend you guys got to be careful because things could trade sideways they could trade crazy up and down but until after those numbers come out I'm probably going to just be holding off and watching the market you never know though if I see an opportunity I'm I'm always going to take it, right? I believe in opportunities. Uh, as far as the Inflation Reduction Act, so I, I got an article here, right? I got to show you all this because that's what I like to look at. Democrats passed a major climate, health, and tax bill. Here's what's in it. So we got this article, and I could just go in here and read it. However, I'm going to sum it up. 
essentially the Inflation Reduction Act, okay, climate change. They plan on investing in better energy, right? Decreasing some of the stuff that's affecting the atmosphere, global warming and all of that stuff. And it could essentially reduce our costs long term, right? So oil, we're using less oil. We start using more electric vehicles. They, they're going to create incentives for people who are using electric vehicles. They're uh, buying more solar panels so that our energy is more efficient, more cost efficient. That is also something that's very beneficial to the economy because right now you all know Russia, Ukraine, they cut our oil. Oil prices skyrocketed for us and there was nothing we can do about it. We don't supply enough of it here in the U.S. for us to be able to back down. So with a bill like this, we can, we can count on prices coming down. However, this is something that is extremely long term and it probably won't help us in the near future. Health, prescription drugs, another one, extremely long term. And I'm not sure if this one is actually going to help the economy because it's based on our health care, but it will make things more affordable. And the tax bill. Now, this is the one I really like, right? Billionaires. Those billionaires who don't pay taxes, hardly pay any taxes. Some some people like you and I probably pay more taxes than billion dollar companies. This is going to make it so that they pay their fair share. And essentially, it's going to put money back into the U.S., back into the economy, and we can continue to circulate. We can kill off some of this U.S. debt, some of the things that make the U.S. bad on the economic side as far as the money that's in circulation, as far as the stock market. And it's also going to incentivize companies pumping up their own company, so investing within their own company, so buying their own stocks, which essentially is going to make the stock market go up, right? So instead of the Fed having to put that money into the market, the companies themselves are going to be incentivized to put that money inside the market their own money inside the market and we should essentially see benefits if we are investing in those kinds of companies so it's just really a lot of good stuff coming this week i mean good it can be good or it can be bad those are the things that could really just push us over the edge as far as the stock market this week i myself i'm really hoping to see some good things especially with we you all know we looked at our chart so let me pull that back up actually let me pull our chart up so I told you all 414 and look at this it hit it perfectly 414.35 it went a little over to 415.68 it traded sideways for two days and came back down right we saw it come back down and now it's going back up so this is essentially a retest of where we said now our next point which I told you all right was gonna be I believe it was the 416 let's see 416.34 if we blow through there I think we're going back on a run and that's going to be heavily dependent upon this week. Again, if you all go back and watch the videos, I I was already pre-charted. We talked about it. this is the power of charting and how it can essentially help us make us better traders and help us predict how the market is going to move so that we can make money together, right? So we talked about it right here at 4.14.63. We see it rejected. That was a point of resistance for it. It got as high as it could, traded sideways for a, a day or two. And came back down now it's going back green at this point our next point of rejection is going to be that it's going to be that 417.34 actually 417.34 if we break through that guys i can see us potentially going back to the moon we can see this market making a rebound after that that doesn't mean we won't have some red days however we'll still see more green than red so this week i believe is going to be another trying week but if we see ourselves above that 414 we we traded at it but if we come above it, our next point is going to be that 417. So keep that in mind while you all trading. If you see opportunities, calls, you know if the market is trading upwards. Puts if you see the market trading downwards. Um, on the downside now, if we see it come below, I want I I won't even give it that bad. I'll say if we see but come below that 40946, we could essentially see the market start to come back down. And hey, who knows? We'll make that that judgment based on next week so that's what i have for you guys i thank you all for joining the journey to come wealthy hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when i make videos thank you